Right, okay, this is really puzzling, but we're back anyway. This is Matt Parker Tutorial Services. I'm not on my upgraded laptop with like a solid state hard drive and 16 gig and Windows 10. I'm on an old crappy school laptop, and again, it's a Friday, which is pretty bad. But nonetheless, here we are to help students with the coursework, teachers with their admin, and small businesses get their businesses off the ground without paying big software costs. Today, we're looking at the Edexcel GCSE Computing Task 3. Now, glad you like my little animation. We're now going to jump straight into the task. Now, the way I understood this, and we've got three minutes to do it, and it took me five minutes last time, is to break it into these four functions. All these functions, the way I've done this, are very, very similar. Okay, so let's get that established. Let's just quickly jump to option A. Option A opens a text file and then prompts the user for an estimate number. This code is the same for all of the functions except for the last one where this line is missing. That allows you to search the column. Then you have an if statement which looks at the first column, which is field 0, and if the estimate number matches what the user put in, it displays this information and these columns. Then you close the text file and you return back to the menu. Look at that, think about that. How sim simple is that? And similar is that to option B where you again open the text file. You have the for loop for searching the column. You have an if statement. Now, if you look at your end user requirements, you'll see that in the fifth column, you've got to have the this column, the fifth column, as accepted, which is A. Now, the way I thought of it, the amount outstanding, if the fourth column and the sixth column were not equal, right, that would mean that the business is owed some money. It would print out these headings separated by the tab and this data to go underneath each heading and then a blank line now you have to calculate the amount outstanding you can do that yourself so i'm not giving you everything finally you're going to close the, the the text file and return to the same menu so again you can see this is very very similar to the first one very similar the same the same slightly different but all you've got to know is an if statement now the last one again extremely similar You've got a variable at the top, but you're opening the text file. The for loop, the only thing that changes is that middle line, because you're doing a total for the column. Your if statement, well, it's even simpler. You're working out the amount outstanding by taking away the fourth column from the sixth column, and if that has, if the fifth column has got an A in it, and this calculation is less than or equal to zero, then you print the sum of that field, that column there, column four. Finally, you print out that field there, which is the total revenue. Don't forget, if you're adding a string to a sentence, you must convert it. Otherwise, it will give you an error. Then you close the file and return to the main menu. Now, at this point, if you can do all that, you should not need help with the menu. But let's go through it anyway. You print off your options. Okay. Then your first option runs option A, and that's searching for an estimate. And then option B option C, exit in, and then if they don't do any, any of that, it returns you back to the main menu. And that's it, guys, okay? I want to thank you for listening. We're there to help students with the coursework, teachers with the boring admin, and businesses get those IT systems off the ground without spending lots of money on software companies. There you have it, a working solution with the odd little Easter egg, which doesn't include testing and evaluation to help you code Task 3 2016 GCSE